notice that we are now somewhere else. We are now in Quick. We are now in Chrome, and I tend to use um, Firefox because I am of that age group. But you all use Chrome, so I'm going to try it with Chrome. Now, what I want to do is I want to picture something to put in the hand. So I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to add a pug. Now, many of you will learn rapidly that I am pug obsessed. So I'm going to go to my images. And I'm going to find me a decent pug. I can do a couple of things. I can get one with a white background. I can get one with different colors. I can just obsess for hours on how cute they are. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look. It's the COVID. Yeah, the first one got COVID. Great. Um, ooh, it always takes me a moment to decide on my pug. I'm going for that one. Okay. So I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to open image. No new tab. There it is. And then you have a couple of different ways you can do this. You can right click and save image as and save it directly to your project one. You can, if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command Shift 4 and pick just a section of it. I don't know what you would do on a PC anymore, but I've now got my picture. Now I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Oh, I feel like I've been here before. I'm just going to shut that down. File, open. I'm going to open up my hand. I'm going to recognize its index. I'm going to go image mode, change it to RGB. And I'm going to open my JPEG. I'm going to open this one. Now, if you look at this one, this is 1.89 megs. It's a hell of a lot bigger than what you're drawing that you've had before. I'm going to use my marquee, my lasso. I'm going to set the feather because it's a little bit bigger to like a four. I'm going to use my navigator. Where am I, navigator? I'm going to get a little closer because it's easier. Closer, closer, closer. Do, 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 do. Back, back, back. Okay, down. Just a stretch. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to use my marquee to grab my lasso to grab it. And again, remember, I've been doing this for 20 some odd years, so I can do this pretty fast. It's not going to be as easy for you. When you totally screw up, you hit Command D and undo it. If I go up here and made that like that, there we go. Nice look. I'm going to go to the minus up here. And you can see it's got the little minus up there. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to select that area by going around it and undo it. All right, I now have my, my pug puppy. Edit, copy, take it over to the hand, make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to command plus this because it's easier. Edit, paste, and you can see how big that is. Now, sometimes you can't see the whole thing. So if we go to edit, free transform. Sometimes they're really big. This is pretty big. You have a couple of options. You can just, if you can go back far enough, you can grab it and change it up that way. If you can't, you can go up here and see where it says 100%, height by width 100%. I'm going to change that to 50 and see where it links. It links it with that, that links. So now it's 50 by 50. So I now can see the whole thing easily. Now I can move it a little bit better. And there's my pug puppy in my hand. So exciting. And we're going to do with it exactly what we've done with all the other ones. We're going to, well, I need to make it a little bigger. Command, I'm going to treat free transform it by command T, make it a little bigger. And I may make it so it's like, ooh. All right. Yeah, I get I'll get really Okay, because we want to make sure she can hold that puppy in her hand. Or maybe, maybe it should be smaller. Like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. So she did, the pug doesn't hurt itself. Okay. A little sickness going on here. Fine. No problem. So now I'm going to use, go down here. And I'm going to first add my uh, masking layer and use my eraser to erase out this section because it, so it looks like the pug is sitting on it. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of the hand because I can see uh, the face already. 
So I'm going to click here, add, and I'm going to use black. And again, remember I said that there was sometimes black? Can you see there's a little black and white here? If I click on that, I now have black. It's just a cheat. When I'm going on here, I need to be out of the eraser and into the brush. And I'm going to just very carefully get rid of all of this stuff underneath. So now I have the pug puppy in there. Perfect. Click on this because wherever you add a layer will appear um, above it. Now this is interesting because if I click here and add a layer, it's in the wrong place. But I can just grab that layer and pull it up, pull it up, and pull it up until it goes in between. So now I've got the layer in between. And I'm going to image adjustment, hue saturation. I'm going to change the color. What? Oh, I'm in the wrong layer. That's stupid. I'm going to go back down to my pug. Did you see that? Tell me it was in the wrong layer. Realized I was in the wrong place. It's going to happen. So just be aware. So I'm going back here. Now I'm going to go to image adjustment, hue saturation. And I'm going to make that pug, what color? Green, red, yellow, purple. No, I can never decide. Right, and I'm going to bring out the saturation. I got the little blue pug. We all love those blue pugs. I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to go back to this layer. Remember, I keep moving around in these layers. You just have to click to make sure you're on your legs. If I'm on here, I'm working on the mask layer. If I'm in here, I'm working on the image. This one just has an image. So I'm going up here. I'm going to go to my hand. And I'm going to make the little red arms. Holding that pug puppy. Now, when you're doing your own work with the five objects of your own, you're going to really want to think about how this looks. You're going to want to think about color. You're going to want to think about how this comes out looking. So for instance, I now have a blue pug and I'm going to go into overlay and I kind of like the red arms with it because they sort of work well together, but I might decide that orange is going to be better. So I'm going to go back in because these are complementary colors and make the hands orange. So this is where you really want to think about how is this going to look because you're trying to make the best looking piece you possibly can. Because when I start using my rubrics, seven points on any one project is based on how it looks. So there's my pug puppy looking good. File, save as, hand four. Now here's the situation. You are going to be doing four more of these of your life. I mean, this is, this is the one that shows you're working on your life. So you've got this one and the next four, which will be your life. So though I did it with a pug puppy, you're going to do it with something else.